There is a lady in Melrose Town and she was brief and sore. A bold and handsome way says that he must go to war. He's taken the king's shilling and he has to go to Spain. And it's all I am unwilling for it looks a bit like rain. Oh, my dearest Billy, must you go on to Spain? You must take some lovers, chunk, and we will split it all in twain. On the day those halves unite, then so too shall we, my love. And she gave him half a wardrobe, and the poor sod staggered off. <laughs> <laughs> With a wardrobe on his shoulder down the M6 at Carlisle, the late with half a wardrobe through England, France and Spain. Where he found the war was ended, so he set off back again. And he marched back into Melrose and he took his token out. But his dear and sweetest true love told him war had broken out. Oh, well, you must go, she said, and blew the sweetest kiss. And she handed him his token, saying, don't go without this. Well, he marched to Barcelona, where he found he'd been misled. For this war was in Sweden, but his true love hadn't said. But when he knew his duty, and he set off straight away. But when he got to Stockholm, it had ended yesterday. For when he met that Swedish girl, for when he was in rage. When a man's got half a wardrobe, you can tell that he's engaged. But he had an idea that his half could make his swap. So he went into Ikea, changed his bottom for a top. And his dear and sweet, just true love, had been making other friends. And she had been to have a fire, and they changed ends. And he marched back into Melrose, thinking soon he would be free. For we cannot make a wardrobe, and she'll think it isn't me. That dear and sweet, true love, she made other friends. Yes, she had been to have a fire, and they changed ends. Some say that they are fools. She didn't want to marry. Nor did he, but rules are rules. 